Greetings one and all, my name is Lancer and welcome back once again to Mishoku Tensei. We'll be watching episode 22 of season 2 and last time on. We've reunited with Roxy and the gang's all together and we're going deeper into the labyrinth. Though of course we're going back and forth for rest and Rody and Roxy have caught up but he has not told her that he is married and has a child on the way. And Paul hit him with the analogy that hey, I once only wielded one sword and now I wield two. I love them both equally. I'm sure one day you will as well. Let's get right into the episode. <laughs> Prep your gear for insertion. <laughs> I will hold your hand. Yeah, stop saying these things, bro. My fear is going to be realized. This is final boss room. You can't convince me otherwise. A Hydra. Oh, she's the core? Ah, oh, Paul. Uh. Holy shit. CG, yeah, whatever. Fuck you. It looks good. I'm worried for both of them. It just deflects magic. I mean, Paul's not gonna go back. We see Zenith now. Yeah, of course it regenerates. You gotta cut off all the heads at the same time. Now you know what it is. You've learned things. Okay, I was gonna say, is the circle work still yet? Yeah. Alright, well, now we can make a plan. Because that's what we need. I mean, you found her. I mean, yeah. Wait, what? Or, yeah, since I was seven. You said you were 16, but I guess since then, maybe you've had another birthday. I don't know. You're 17 now. Anogadian, the action this episode is going to be great. I'm scared he's going to go in alone. Yeah, I would say the roles are reversed this time, because before, you were the one who kind of snapped, and then you got to calm him down. He's going to latch onto everything. It's probably feeding off her life force or something, using it as power. Manatite. しかし、ダメージを与えたところで再生しよう。ヒュドラの首は火で炙れば再生しないと聞いたことがあります。ギリシャ神話の英雄ヘラクレスの話だ。We're <laughs> using Greek mythology to help us here in this world. It's kind of cool. So cauterize its fucking wound. ギズグチなら鱗で魔術が弾かれる可能性も低いです。ああ。昨日ね返事だな。あいつの首を切れるのはお前しかいねえんだぞ。Stay focused, man. And Rudy, fuck you. Yeah, 
Oh my god, stop saying all the shit. This will be my last fight. I'm also your only son. You've been an inspiration in some ways. And it probably will. I feel like he's more saying that to himself rather than you. Let's kick ass. Here we go. And burn it. Fight side by side. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Hercules. Oh, it's so clean. I've needed this. Is it venomous? Do we know? We've gotten three so far. Ah, oh, shit. So what, we got like half of them so far? I'm so on edge, bro. I'm like not even thinking about commentating. Ah, that's smart. Explosion! It can breathe fire. Huh. More water. Now we're fighting Ghidorah. Two. One. But what about the heads that are detached. I don't know. And one more. Oh, fuck. What are you doing? Oh, God. I just did that. Oh, fuck. His arm. His hand. What about Paul, though? <laughs> shoved his hand in there, dude. <laughs> Is the hand, like, in there in his eye somewhere? Well, she blew it up. Never mind. Oh, well, regrew a little bit of it. Yeah, how is he? Even if it kills you, are we taking his body at least? Is she even gonna know? Oh boy. No. Oh. <laughs> it's. The norm. Like, it's something that was, like, so obvious, but it's still, like, it's different when it happens, you know? Oh, they burned it there. Sheesh. <laughs> okay. 
Okay, well, credits rolled. Four days. Do you remember anything? Does she... She, she's just a, a baby now. <laughs> yeah. Let's just, yeah. Well, that was episode 22 of season two of Mishoka Tensei. So what, she's, there's a term for that where it's like they revert to being an infant. I figured it was going to be something like that where she's just gone. Great, so now she can't even tell us like how that all even happened. Unless this is going to be what sets us on our next quest somehow. I imagine it was a case where it like fed on her life force and then just consumed her memories or something. So now she doesn't even remember how to be human. I mean, again, from the get go, I figured Paul was going to die from the moment he was on screen, you know? Of course, this show does what well enough where it didn't immediately kill off the protagonist's parents in classic Disney and or other anime fashion. And so it kind of played with that idea for a while, especially the couple times Paul came back into the story. I mean, since we met him again in like the second half of season one, it was that kind of confirmed in my mind. It's like, he's probably going to die. I figured it would be something like that where he dies protecting Rudy because they've always had the father son relationship where like, you know, they butted heads, argued. And even then in this episode, it happened they were arguing and so that was in his own way his final atonement it was so quick though died a warrior though and for rudy as well man just fucking shoving his hand in there not even thinking about it this technically i feel they like could have been titled turning point four having it be titled parents yeah that makes sense because now rudy has technically lost both of his parents unless there's some magical way we can restore zenith's memories but i mean now it's just kind of one of those things where it's like what was it all for i mean she's still alive in the literal death definition, but she's not who she was anymore. So what the hell do we do now? I don't imagine we've been here that long. I mean, again, it took us a month and a bit to get here. So I imagine it can't have been more than two months that we've been here, which means we've saved a lot of time. I mean, wasn't that only the fifth stratum as well? Wasn't there like six of them? I mean, it doesn't even matter. Like there's no point in finishing the labyrinth. We've done it. Um, by all accounts, that should have been the end of it. I mean, now we just, we go home. Oh God, we got to tell Norn and Aisha. I feel like Lilia should just come back with us. Like, she should be with Aisha. Oh God, Norn, though. It's good that Norn and Rudius at least have made up and come close, because they are all that they have. I don't know, like, if we bring Zenith back with us, I mean, that's gonna be rough. It's gonna be worse for Norn, though, I feel like, just because obviously Rudy was close with his father, and they had a different relationship, whereas Norn, it's like, she pretty much was raised for a large chunk of her life by Paul. Six years, right? Since it all happened. Again, it was so obvious that it was gonna happen and even with Rudy as well, him losing a hand. It's one of those things, though. It's like even in other movies and shows where it's the cliche of they say all the lines like, I'll tell you when we get back, you know, it's going to be fine and all that. Even though it's set up to happen, when it still happens, it still hurts, you know? I mean, it's the same thing in real life as well. Someone you know is going to die when they actually die, you know, it's still sad, especially when they're family. But yeah, we got two episodes left, man. <laughs> Maybe balance it out with some lighthearted stuff. We'll see. But either way, this is my reaction episode 22 of season two of Mishoka Tensei. Join me next time for episode 23, as well as everything else to be coming out soon. So until next time, I'm Lancer. Thanks for watching.